with sketching. So this is a continuation. All right, I want to give you one more example of how to sketch things and then we'll go through it systematically. So the second example, we did it one example last time, is this. The function is x plus 1 over x plus 2. And I'm going to save you the time right now. This is very typical of me, especially if you're in a hurry on an exam. I'll just tell you what the derivative is. So in this case, it's 1 over x plus 2, the quantity squared. Now, the reason why I'm uh, bringing this up, this example up, even though it'll turn out to be a relatively simple one to sketch, is that uh, it's easy to fall into a black hole uh, with this problem. OK? So let me just show you. This is not equal to 0. OK? It's never equal to 0. So that means there are no critical points. OK? At this point, um, students, many students who have been trained like monkeys to do exactly what they've been told suddenly freeze and give up because there's nothing to do. So this is the one thing that I have to train out of you. You can't just give up at this point. So what would you suggest? Okay, can anybody get us out of this jam? Yeah. Right, so the, the, the suggestion was to find the x values where uh, f of x is undefined. In fact, so now that's a, 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 a fairly sophisticated way of putting the point that I want to want to make, which is that what we want to do is go back to our pre-calculus skills and just plot points. Okay? So instead, you go back to pre-calculus and you plot some points. That's a perfectly reasonable thing. Now, it turns out that the most important point to plot is the one that's not there, namely the value at x equals negative 2, which is just what was suggested. Namely, we plot the points where the function is not defined. OK? So how do we do that? Well, you have to think about it for a second, and I'll, I'll introduce some new notation when I do it. If I evaluate 2 at this place, actually, I can't do it. I have to do it from the left and the right. So if I plug in minus 2 on the positive side from the right, that's going to be equal to minus 2 plus 1 divided by minus 2, a little bit more than minus 2 plus 2, which is negative 1 divided by, now this denominator is negative 2, a little more than that, plus 2. So it's a little more than 0. And that is, well, we'll, go, we'll fill that in in a second. Everybody's puzzled. Yes? No, that's the function. I'm plotting points. I'm not differentiating. I already differentiated. Okay? I already got something that was a little puzzling. Now I'm focusing on the weird spot. Yeah, another question. Wouldn't it be a little less than zero? Okay, so that's, uh, that's a very good point, and this is a matter of notation here and a matter of parentheses. So wouldn't this be a little less than 2? Well, if, it were, if the parentheses were this way, that is 2 plus with a minus after I did the 2 plus, then it would be less, but it's, it's this way. Okay? So the notation is you have a number and you take the plus part of it, that's, that's the part which is a little bit bigger than it, all right? And so this is what I mean, all right?